Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about how certain YouTubers and I guess Twitchers now are turning on their sponsors and why this is going to create a... So right now we're in the pandemic, people really don't have jobs. It was just reported today that another 4.4 million people filed for unemployment um, and we're up to 28.5 million in five weeks. Give you an idea of how much that is. Uh, we only have 330 million U.S. or uh, people who live in the U.S., and that counts immigrants, that counts children, that counts people who may may or may not legally be should be here, and that's a lot. That's like 10 percent, right, of everybody, including babies, are unemployed. Now, when you talk about how many people have jobs versus how many people filed for unemployment in the last five weeks, yeah, it's possible someone filed for unemployment five weeks ago and now they have a job, but unlikely, not in the current pandemic. So when I see something like this, I think it's really a affront where someone has a job or is being paid and they're refusing to work. And the MPL is the same way. The wedge is not the only example I have. Obviously, I have many more examples that I could give you. But suffice it to say, you probably know where this video is heading. So not, let's not belabor the point too much. I think it really is a shame. Um, and Wedge is trying to pick up as many sponsors as he can. He just picked up a tea company who's going to send him a, quote, care package. And if Wedge does a good job, then, of course, they're going to continue this type of marketing is not new. It has been used since at least Instagram was invented. I think it's the worst type of marketing because of Wedge's behavior. Is he Remember Puker, uh, Puker Trade sponsored him and then he turned on them. Then Monthly Magic Box sponsored them before. He turned on them. Star City Games sponsored him. I have screenshots of him just in... 2008, July 5th, 2018, right before his big injury, and they also donated money to him for his injury. This is Star City Games again that I'm talking about. And what did they get from it? Not, not very much, it turns out. Not anything, because Wedge has specifically said, so TikTok T, uh, let them know who they're sponsoring, I guess. They're sponsoring someone who will turn on them as soon as he can. As soon as the free tea stops rolling in, oh yeah, you're going to see. And this is why it's such a bad investment. So if I spend money, again, marketing, I'm just going to talk about on ad, paid advertisements. Well, when it's done, it's done, right? Facebook doesn't hate me or just Facebook doesn't go after me if I stop spending money on Facebook ads, right? Same with Google, same with Bing. They just don't care. Okay, you ran your ad and you're done. But when you're dealing with an individual representing your brand, the worst thing you can have is that same individual turn on you. Right now, TCG Player is discussing a, they're in a union debate. So their warehouse employees who are less than 100 want to form a union. Bernie Sanders supports that union and as does Wedge. Wedge retweeted it, I think it's somewhere in this video. Bernie Sanders and then said, hey, you know, these warehouse people should essentially telling them they're great people and they should form a union, which is the opposite of what TCG player would want someone who represents their brand to say. It would be like, we paid you to say you love Coke. We stopped paying you. And then now all of a sudden that you're saying that you hate Coke. So it isn't that Pepsi paid you more money to say that you love Pepsi. No, you've taken it upon yourself Right, the tweet that Wedge said about Star City Games not respecting people with mental health. I mean, the way it's structured is uh, very, and this is a I, we would all like for you and I, if Star City Games flew us out for a convention, paid everything that we could imagine, then donated a bunch of money because we injured ourselves, wouldn't we be grateful? Like, wouldn't you be grateful for that opportunity and be like, yeah, you know, I was grateful or puker points. You know, gave me thirty thousand dollars. Wouldn't I be grateful to Pico Points? And Wedge did drain his account. You can go online to look. I mean, you can you know which account it says. It's obvious. It's his name. 
So wouldn't we be grateful that Pico Trade is giving us all this money? And then we turned on them as soon as it was cool to turn on them. And he's turning, he turned on Star City Games on November. And now he's turning on TCG Player. The last thing TCG Player wants is a union for their warehouse employees. They're, I mean, they're going to fight this tooth and nail. You know they're going to fight this tooth and nail. So for Wedge to come out and support this and support Bernie Sanders, which, again, like I said, when you have non-Magic folks um, getting into Magic, it always ends badly. The butt crack incident, that ended badly. That was BuzzFeed. Uh, the unsleeved media, whatever his name, the quartering is right now, that ended really badly because you got Kotaku. So you have people who are, they're only writing this article. Like Bernie Sanders is only supporting this union because he wants to destroy Magic the Gathering. And he wants to make us like look like losers. I mean, let me ask you this. Like what other major publication or major celebrity who doesn't play Magic like when they look at magic, they look at us the same way that people, the jocks looked at us in high school. You guys are losers, and I'm going to make sure you know about it. So when Bernie Sanders gets involved, you know, Bernie bros are very angry people. They just, Bernie Sanders just endorsed Joe Biden. He endorsed Hillary Clinton four years ago. They just donated what little money they had to a dude who has no conviction and lost again. He's been a loser for eight years. So what, what are they feeling? Are they happy right now? Do you think they're happy that Joe Biden is, has won and Bernie has endorsed him like a day later? No, they're, get, they're very angry. So what can they be angry about? Oh, unions. Oh, my gosh. TCG players are so bad and, you know, the employees want to unionize and now they're giving them a raise and health benefits. Oh, no. We can't have that happening. And Wedge, by retweeting it in spot in supporting that statement, that cannot be what TCG player wants someone that they paid who's on payroll. So I have to assume that he's not on payroll. So let's take a look at all like his main sponsors I know about. Monthly Magic Box, he turned on them. Pico Trade, he turned on them. Star City Games, he turned on them. TCG player, he's turning on them right now. So why should I as a company invest in a Magic the Gathering YouTuber when there's such a history of, hey, you know what? Maybe I get some good PR, but as soon as I stop paying you, boom, you're going to come after me with, with a vengeance, right? And it's a very logical reason why Star City Games did not pay him or TCG Play would not. How can you have a, a vendor or a working relationship or like... You're not even an employee. You're a vendor, which means you're a 1099, which means there's almost no relationship, right? Why should TCG Player or Star City Games continue to pay you when you specifically said you don't make content for months? That's insane, but that's entitled. And that's the current problem with Magic the Gathering. I mean, if you want me to... Um, figure out what the main issue with is, I can define it quite simply. It's the fact that you have individuals in Magic the Gathering who are net negatives. And if you have too many net negatives, then the whole thing collapses. The whole community collapses. Through my multiple mental health breaks, not only did TC player not drop me, but they continued actively paying me what allows SGG to be so cold and have that be okay? Okay, let me... I mean, why... Even if this was true, why would you publicly say this? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, it doesn't make... It's almost like... Just imagine a McDonald's worker, a Walmart worker, and they don't go to work for a year and they're still getting paid. And in public on their Twitter, now they're telling people they're still getting paid, even though they have to exp they're tweeting that, hey, guys, you guys are great. Walmart's great. You guys are still paying me. Did, did you guys know that? And I haven't done work for years. I don't know. It's 
very strange that um, you would be proud enough to tweet this over and over again when it's something that I find very embarrassing and very shameful. Like if you're not going to do the work, then you, you should not get paid. I guess that's a very difficult concept to understand in Magic the Gathering. Like I said before, the pandemic has made Magic the Gathering businesses have to deal with reality instead of living with a bubble. That's why the MPL is canceled right now. And the MPL should be canceled because it sucks. But back to the Star City Games, look at this promotion on them. They, you know, Wedge from the Mana Source and the Professor. Wedge is not his real name, by the way. You know, YouTube 101, they're giving him a platform. They're having people speak. You know, they're giving him everything he needs to do. The only issue is he has to work, right? He has to physically go to this venue and talk about YouTubing. That's too much work for him. Look, if someone agrees to hire you to be a brand ambassador or whatever your job title is, and you don't do a good job or you don't do a job at all because you have mental health issues. No, I agree. Mental health is a very, very serious issue. But should you still be paid if you are refusing to do the work? And this is the same with the MPL. We have multiple MPL members, one in particular, that's name I don't mention. Um, they refuse to do any work. They refuse to stream, even though they're being paid $40,000 specifically to stream every day. That they're refusing to do it. Well, why should they, the company pay you? Like, somebody in Hasbro will figure this out. Trust me. Hi, guys.